this is the backyard and oh we have a heap of trees there just a, as a windbreak but um and that's the front yard there you can come through the side gate so yeah that's the hills hoist we have a path coming from the laundry door here all the way out a couple of dog towels on it because Sansa's a pretty girl now and oh well yeah look that that would be that's under my chin so <laughs> So what we've got to look at is this gearbox here and yeah that nut there, not much of that left and not much of the others either so but this hasn't turned for ages and like Jude said she's not worried about that um, you can see up the top here as we turn it it goes up and down the little ramp there and the ramp so it can come down onto the ramp and not and not turn if that's what you wanted oh look at that that's Oh, there we go. But yeah, as we turned that, it went up high, then just come down bang against that collar. So anyway, we've got to work that out. Got to see if we can fix it. So first up, I'll spray a heap of um, CRC penetrate around there. I really rate that stuff and I think this screw needs to come out the end there as well, but um, yeah, if you'll find anything interesting, I'll keep you in the loop. Okay, looks like there's a couple of parts to the problem. Now, this here is the main thread where, the, where it goes up and down, but this nut here is seized onto the collar. So when we pull this out, these two little lumps here, you can just see they locate in that pipe there to stop the um, bottom bit turning and then when we look at the bottom there those two I can't even see what you're looking at really with the sun out here but those two flats there there and there they keep the bottom bit um, sitting where it needs to be and located in there and then when you turn the gear here well it's got the thread in it and so with this fixed to stop this thread from turning and you turn the gear here well that lets the thread go up and down through the centre of the gear but this has been seized for a long time We've, but Judy wasn't real worried and then this is a cast iron gear cast iron pinion gear you can see I'll put it down a couple of locating lugs here and here for the for the holes there to locate the gearbox to stop it turning around. These nips here are for the nut there. So that sits in there. So I've got to take that up the back and free this up will be the first thing. Now and free that up there because that's just because we didn't use it that's stuck solid. So with this gear turning this goes up and down and so in the pipe over there, in the centre of the clothesline, the, the one over there, I'm going to have to have a look there and see what sits on here. So there's a little, there's a little cast tit there and there's a hook here. Um, I don't know what that's for just yet, but and I, I thought possibly down this end here, it may have had a... Oh, well that thread not being relieved there. See there's a relief on the bottom, if I sit him, will that sit up there? Probably bloody not. I'll bring him over here. So yeah, having the relief here, and no relief there, that would stop you winding this up through the nut so the top would fall off. So, I think that's okay. Those little worth sockets. This is what I got the nuts off with, and you can see they're like a like a an easy out for nuts more or less and that's what i got the nuts off that had no no thread left on them or no no flats left for the spanners to go on so yeah they're great little thing i don't use them much okay so we know we need to free this up we need to free that up um we'll probably do that and then i need to have a look down the hole down the pipe there with the torch if i can i probably won't be able to show that on camera on yeah what's going on there what this hook's about and what this is about 
Okay, now this pipe on the top bit, there's nothing down there. You can see right the way to that bolt that holds the cap on. So I'll have to hop on a parts book or something now and find out what should be here. So it looks like yesterday when we were turning it, it must have just been catching on here or something like that. So I'll have to see what that looks like. I'll probably cut it back down, get rid of the rust and that's been tacked on, whatever it looks like. But there's not much left, there's a bit of folded bit in there. So I'll have to find out what that looks like. So I know what, I can turn something up here in the lathe, you know, with a hole in it and all that. I can turn that up, but I just gotta to need to know what it looks like. So I'll get the gearbox freed up and then we'll, um, then we'll attack this. Okay. I just had a look, there's a really good website, hillsparts.com.au and it looks like what happens here is there's a conical washer, like this This has a cone in it to centralise against that flat bar and then there's a nylon washer, sits on top of the flat thread and rubs on here, so I'd say what I have to do is chop this off a little bit and um, yeah, make a, make a cone to match the cone on the top of the thread so that when you wind it up the the thread pushes on the cone and that's what lifts this up through the pipe but I also noticed it had a little bend in it and there's a yeah there's a little funny little section there that looks like it's half rusted out inside I've never noticed it bent before but looks like I'll have to deal with that in one way or another too it's not looking not looking very good. But anyway, these old clothes lines, um, they'll outlast 10 of the new ones, so, um, yeah, probably if I knew to pull that off and, and put a bit of, um, put a bit of lube in that on it or something, it may work. But anyway, here's Jude's ducks. Jude has these pet ducks. And they wander around. Hey, so you got a little old kid swimming pool there for them. And they wander around and they love dog meaty bites so they keep all the bugs out of the veggie garden and things like that and yeah that's Jude's interest I have tractors she has gardens and ducks and chooks well look at this you would not recognize these parts now would you so I'll strip it all out and I'll try and explain how it all works so this bottom piece that has a cone on it and I'm starting to get in shade here. That has a cone on it and that sits on the end there. And its job is to limit the travel of this thread. So when you wind the handle and this goes all the way down, the nut can keep traveling, but those two little tits there, they stop the thread from disappearing down the bottom. Then this, you'll notice a taper there. Well, this gear with the left hand thread in it that has a taper as well. Okay, the garbage truck's gone now. <laughs> so, back to this. So, when this turns, this has a left hand thread inside it um, that matches with this very coarse cast thread there. And when we turn that, that rises and lowers. And when you wind the handle on the gearbox, you wind the handle, that turns the gear, and that, that in turn brings this up and down. So I'll just put this side on, and we'll come back and we'll have another little chat about it. Well, I've just put the side on here, and there's a little cap to go there. It's just a, a dummy run, just to show you what it looks like. And... You can see when we wind the handle here, you can see the centre thread there going down and if I was hanging on to that better it would have been going up. There we go. So we've worked out how that little gearbox works. Um, we're going to have to put grease in here and you know, grease it all up. But how does that main thing come up and down? Well, 
This is the piece I cut off ours. You can see it better there. And when you look at the parts book, now have a look at um, hillsparts.com.au, I think it is. And they show a nylon washer on this taper here. And they don't show this. You can buy that whole top bar. And look, it's not all that expensive, but you know, I'm just a fiddler, so I've got to do it myself. And so what happens is there's a little cap made to fit over that pipe. And you can see, get in the light a bit better. You can see this one had a tack weld there. And it must have a cone inside it that matches the shape of here. So when the clothes line is up and it wants to do 360, go round and round and round, well, it can do that because of the washer here and the shape of the cone in here matching this here. So the... Um, what I need to do now is I'll go to the lathe, I'll make this cap that'll slide over the piece of pipe with a cone inside that's something along the lines of this cone here. So it can sit down there and just, as this comes up and down, it can just push the top up and down. And they had a nylon washer there. I, look, I may have some nylon or something to put there, I don't know. But... Um, I may even make this a little bit out of stainless if I got some. I just don't know what I've got yet. I haven't looked. And the other day when it collapsed, I would say what's happened is this little piece of tin washer here, or, or tin Welsh plug looking thing. Um, you could probably use a Welsh plug now. I've just said that. Talking out loud. Um, yeah, it can match that shape and away we go. But you know I'm going to have to overbuild it now, don't you? All right. I'll go and have a fiddle, I think. I've turned up a collar and this should knock on that piece of pipe sticking up on the main beam about there and it will sit down here and that's the that's the same taper as this here now you can see where this this taper here is slightly changed to that one there and that's just where it's been wearing I'd imagine so I've done it to this taper here. That's where the most support is for it. But then the parts book shows a washer. So I've put a, made a washer. I can't even find any sun to put it in. I've made a washer and I've got this angle here and I've got some of that angle there. So that stays there. And this piece here ends up being hooked to the top of the clothesline and that turns there with the weight of the clothesline on. Now, originally the other one, look, it was about that thick all the way around. This one here, look, we've got five or six mil thickness there, so we'll probably never be in here again. And this one here, we'll just go over, and if we pop over, oh, where are we? Over here. And see what sort of fit we have. So that might... So that's not going anywhere. I wonder can I feel... Feels like it's all the way home. So that'll stay there. This was tacked originally, but look, I don't think I'm going to. There's no... With the weight of the clothesline on there, I think it's going to be good. So, yeah, I'm going to call that bit done. So once we get the gearbox assembled, we should be able to lift this whole top piece on. on and this will sit over onto that Lubron or... Look, I don't know it's Lubron, I just think it may be. I'm onto that plastic washer. So, then should be a flash bloody clothesline. Well, we've got... This side just um, just a dummy run just so I can show how it works and when we wind the handle here that's going down wind the handle once more that's up I've got heaps of grease in there I've got the gears covered in grease so they don't rust now what I'm hoping with this washer here there is a bit of grease there but I'm hoping that the weight of the clothesline comes down bomb on there and deforms this a little bit so it actually takes the shape of this bottom 
square bolt and by doing that that'll have it fixed down the bottom here then the larger surface area up here I'm going to grease um, look, sometimes lubrons that you don't need to grease them but look, I think I will and I'm I'm hoping that when we drop the um, drop the top of the clothesline down we can drop it a couple of times and, and this will bed into this um, this and that will become one piece more or less and then the top piece will just spin on this larger surface area so look we'll just see how that goes now from this stage got the old one-handed bloody setup so from this stage this fella here comes down and he locates on that same little tag in line with the bolts here so it stays in place then the back needs a wash and it can come on and then that's that and all we have to do then is get some help and see if I can lift that bloody clothesline back up on and just drop him down the centre tube there to that and we should be done and tell you what after I get this done I'll have that many brownies I just won't know what to do with them I might have brownies for high or something all right see you well there you go you don't reckon that took some lifting on my own <laughs> one man band but anyway we'll go and give the handle a wind and see how we go oh where are we so if I wind clockwise there we go so that's quite easy to wind now oh. I didn't put any oil or grease up here I thought if a sheet or something blew across there and um, got a bit dirty I'd probably hear me pedigree so there you go I reckon that's done I do have to I'm going to replace all these bolts I've got one in my pocket they look to be 8 mil or 5 16th so there's eight of them so I'm going to go up the back and see if I can find them if not I'll probably have to run to town and get some but apart from that job done